Hey all, welcome back. So today I wanted to do at least one more like um fall inspired kind of theme. It's really not fall inspired. It was what I think the goth family deserved. Um because the goth family is infamous in The Sims 4. I think that they got done dirty with only being a base game build. Because there's so many better items for them. For just the way they should be portrayed. Um, we're going to start off by modifying. I didn't want to change the house too much. The Ba bare bare bones of this house is very much the same um i will move the third floor over in a little bit i'm trying to make the outside just a bit better i get really frustrated at this point um because the rooms aren't like making ceilings correctly so i, I will be cutting a lot of that out at in the near future but you do see kind of where I'm going. I wanted to include it a little bit, but yeah. Um, I'm not sure the best way to go about fixing this correctly. Like you can see the struggle happening right now. Not great. Um, it's almost better, I think, to completely rebuild it's just that bump out is so funky like you can see right there and then i'm just like i'm cutting this out you don't need to see me struggle for 20 30 minutes on how to figure out how to actually make this look correct but um i wanted to I, a big goal of mine was to make sure for the most part, I keep um, the layout kind of the same, and you'll see that. Um, the downstairs is the same. I did add in two half baths downstairs instead of having the one full bath downstairs. But there's a formal dining room, there's a living room, and there's the kitchen with informal dining in the kitchen and the two half baths. But I made the entranceway grander to get rid of those um, silly little windows that go up a little bit. Um, and we will see the... Uh, I emptied out everything... And I knew I wanted to use that flooring. So I just needed to try to make this amazing. I'm, I'm really quite happy with the way it did turn out in the end. Um, it is basically what I was hoping for. Um, and you'll kind of see me struggling with the trimming. And this is, like I said, if you look back at older, the old goth house, this is basically the floor plan. <laughs> so, um, but you know, I just felt like it's Halloween, it's fall, the goths are the one true, um, family of the sims 4 so why not all right so we're moving into kitchen time right now i wanted to put informal seating in here because it just makes sense if i i really wanted a formal 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 dining so informal seating for the kitchen just made sense kitchen is massive um the one thing i probably would do is make it smaller because like I had to do, like, a fake pantry area for, like, cleanup and things. It just, it's so big. 
and unnecessary, but at the same time, necessary. Um, but you'll see, like, that side, that side's, like, completely useless besides the sink in there. I just, you'll see in the end photos, I've cluttered it a bit. Um, I've cut out a lot of stuff. This, once again, is about 23 minutes long at 400 times speed, and it's not even everything. <laughs> so, I don't want to waste your time. I don't want to waste my time. But here we go. I This is the formal. I just, like... I see the goths throwing dinner parties. I see them trying to impress people with their wealth. So I just wanted like a huge table, which I really wish the Sims would come out with like modular tables now because I just want a huge table. And I tried to fit a bar here because I really just wanted to do like a built in bar area, but, um, that wasn't working, so I decided to make it like a bar area minus the actual bar bit. So you'll see me. It's like a little wet bar. I'll add in some, yeah, shelving and stuff and make it look all snazzy dancy. You'll see me clutter it up a little bit too because I'm like, obviously we have to have the wine bottles. And I think I end up putting like um one of the new tea pots there and a little bit of coffee thing because it's like a little drink bar. But this actually, I think this room is very close to being my favorite favorite room of the renovation just because it is so kind of opulent and grand and kind of over the top like who has these ottomans in their dining room the goths one and then i wanted to put a mirror here because i wanted to make it even appear bigger and um, the Get Famous mirrors work so well for this. You'll see me use them everywhere. They were perfect. I almost wish I used the tall ones here because I've used the tall ones in the rest of the build. But um, I definitely utilized Get Famous and Vampires a lot. Because I see the Goths as wealthy and they want to show it off. But they're not like chic wealthy. Very much um, anything that's big and opulent is what they get. So sometimes they hit the mark. And sometimes it's just like, mm -mm. like, like who has these beautiful statues on their fireplace? They're gorgeous, but not the time or place. <laughs> um, and you'll see me using the red shelf to try to get them placed a bit better. They don't really place that well. I give up after a certain point because <laughs> those statues don't even lock to the red shelf. So it's really just not worth it. But yeah, this is definitely, I think, close. This one or the living room are probably my favorites. The living room, which we'll go into in a minute. Um, just like it has the vibes of the old living room, which I love. I love the fact that I was able to like update their old living room, kind of. Um, I wanted to make sure they still had a piano. I know the piano used to be where the di with the dining room, but that doesn't fit. And, oh yeah, the glow bar. I had to make sure that was in there because I wanted them to have a bar. So you'll see me go through 
trying to find um oh yeah the bar cart which is like a side table but i'm like this would be perfect to have a bar cart next to the globe bar and you'll see it cut to being a little bit more done a little bit more differently rearranged but Oh, the one thing. I love those bookshelves. They're amazing. They're beautiful. I wish those university bookshelves came in singles. They come in a double. Or even if they came in a triple. They only come in a double. And I just... I needed one more. And to have them as singles... That could be modular. Oh. I would have changed everything. I think I ended up in that corner just doubling them up. And you can kind of see that they're doubled up. So it's not the best, but... Um, you're also going to probably not see any bathroom renovations. I think off camera, I just put the stuff in the bathrooms. They're basically all the same. They vary a little bit if they have a shower or a tub or both. But everything in them is basically the same. Um, and now you're going to see, like, I wanted to make a cozy little nook for, like, the goths hired a piano player. And everyone's chilling on the couch listening. Like, and that's how I see, like, dinner parties with the goths going. Like, that. that's... In my head, that's what I was going like. If I was a goth, what would my dinner party look like? It would look like this. <laughs> and I, oh, and I wanted to make sure I got the right couches back. Um, I think I kept these. I think these are the base game ones. So these might be the ones that they originally had anyways. But, um... I will end up rearranging them just a little bit because it's slightly off center. And in the end, it just bugged me enough. Um, I think because of the mirrors, actually. I was trying to put the mirrors on the wall and make them look good. And it, everything being slightly off center just, just didn't work. And I think you'll see me adjust those in a second. But I just, they're so lovely this is all so lovely i don't think though i would ever want to live in a house like this this seems like a house that you couldn't touch can't touch anything oh and magically everything is here so you can kind of see a little bit more what i did to fill out things Make it look opulent and lived in, but not too cluttered. Um, I did jump cut. Uh, there was one day I just kind of like put some beds in some of the rooms and that's all I did. So I just jump cut to when I was actually decorating those rooms. So this is Cassie's room. Uh, I kept a purple theme on the wall and with some accents. I see her as like... A teen girl kind of goth but also kind of like into it i feel like her mom had a lot of decision makings with her furnishings and like the curtains are kind of her idea but the chair and couch are her mom's idea so it's just a little bit of her personality but mainly bella's and I, I like the way Bella's room is. It's so funky. Like, just the room shape that it, it almost looks really, really good. Um, I don't keep that as either. <laughs> I was like, oh, maybe, but no. You'll see me put the book or the shelving unit up from Equal Lifestyle here in a moment. I think it really just kind of puts that value onto that wall that was needed. I definitely 
uh, wanted to, I wanted to clutter places, but also at the same time, I didn't. I wanted to try to keep this not minimal, but definitely more, um, realistic. I don't know. It's just, for me, I love the idea of having a build be really cluttered, but also I hate the idea of me having to clutter a build. Um, you see here, I've jumped over. You can't really tell yet. But this is actually Bella and Mortimer's closet. I decided to give them... They have the city living... I think it comes from... Um, closet. And I wanted to give them the um, modular closet as well. Just for some flair and character. And I wanted to make sure I got this kind of cluttered up as well. Um, I, I do like the way how the Mortimer and Bella's room came out. I'm, it's not my favorite though. Uh, I did try... I wanted, there's like a couple themes that I try to keep very consistent in the rooms. Like, and I think you can kind of notice that. I think the only room that doesn't have it, or there's two rooms that don't have it, is the kitchen and the third floor don't have a fireplace. Every other room has a fireplace. And I kind of did that on purpose because in my head, they would have a fireplace in every bedroom. So we saw Cassie have a fireplace. Mortimer and Bella had a fireplace. Um, I even get one in for the little, little one. What's his name? Andrew? Oh my God. I'm going to get roasted. I can't remember his name. I think it's Andrew. We're, we're just call him Little Goth. <laughs> Um, but he also gets a little fireplace too. It just seems like something they would have. And I did try to give him like little sitting areas too next to most of the fireplaces. <laughs> Except for the little one. He had his own little storyline. Because you look, you look and see like, look how huge, absolutely massive, over the top, doesn't need to be this big. How big this room is. And Cassie's wasn't huge, but still, like, she had basically a separate sitting area and bedroom. And then we go over to the Bowie's in just a second. And he's going to have the teeny this. Tiniest little room. It's small. It barely fits a bed. Like, they all have en suites. But, like, the, that's the size of his room. It's that. It's there. It's so tiny. I did that on purpose, though. I wanted him to have a teeniest, tiniest little room. I wanted him to kind of be like, Looking like he's suffering almost. Because. Um, he gets. He has the access. And essentially. In my design of this. He is. Like his room. Is the third floor. He gets everything that's in the third floor. It's all his. And. You're going to see. I put in a fireplace for him. And we'll head up to the third floor in a second. But we're also coming to the end of the speed build. 
So screenshots are going to come at the end. I'm going to have a bunch because I really just enjoyed this build. I hope y'all had a great time. Um, it's going to be uploaded onto my uh, gallery so you can download it. Make sure you have move objects on and yeah. Uh, we will see you next time. Enjoy, everybody. Bye.